hello everyone in this video i am going to show you some cool techniques to setting up variation in a interior scene so i have this scene ready here which has two windows one doors where the light will come inside and i have already set up some cameras so one of camera we will use for our scene and uh, I have also some interior lights you can see one light over here and one of three lights in the gallery and uh, I have one wall over here so let me see where this is wall so currently this is my scene and it has no exterior lights so what we are going to do is we are going to use this camera as our primary camera and we will see what is the current result with only interior lights so uh, I have also some environment already set up so just cleaned everything nothing external light only internal lights and this camera <clears throat> so let's start by clicking on VRA frame buffer and start IPR rendering so currently this is my scene and this is my camera right now so what I need to do here is set the camera angles correctly so we can see better examples so select the camera move the target a little bit this side the camera over here and select camera and target both and move down the camera a bit so i also would like to see my lamp so let's move the camera a little bit over here so yeah so this is our scene which has currently no exterior lights coming inside only interior lights so you can see if we go to light manager and we can see the list of the lights in the scene so let's turn off everything one by one and see what do we have left so i have turned off <coughs> which light and we have no light in the scene so this is my primary light which you can see is this one and uh, then this light is for my lamp and these are the instance lights and these are the ceiling lights i have turned back all the lights and we have no exterior lights right now so let's start now so first of all we need a V-Ray Sun to add in our scene so I will click on V-Ray Sun from here you can also create V-Ray Sunlight from a command panel V-Ray and V-Ray Sun so, but this is a long way to go so I just use this icon and one thing you need to understand that you need to focus on the which side of the plan enters the light so right now I have two windows here so I would like to enter my light from uh, like uh, this so right now I am using currently a layer which is being turned off the candle light so no I am going to use light and cameras so light okay VA sun and create VA sun from this to so first when I click it set the sun location and when I release over here it set the sun target okay so when you add a sun it immediately asks you 
would you like to automatically add VA sky environment map so always say yes mostly we need to set VA sky right okay so as soon as I did that you can see that our door background has changed because now we have a sky background in our environment so you can check it over here rendering environment default VA sky this is what it's us us so this because of this we are getting this sky background if it's unchecked you got you can't see anything outside so always make sure this option is also checked okay so let's close this right now our sun is on the horizon which means it's not rises now so what we need to do is select our sun and move this upside like this so you can see that as we move our sun some lights came into our scene and right now I also want to see some shadow and highlights over here so I am going to move my camera a little back like this like this yeah that's fine so most people think that this is natural this is good this looks good but not what we need to achieve in our scene that we need some lights in our scene but we don't need this harsh light on our floor and our rug this is creating problem so what we need to do is <coughs> we need to select our sun and first of all we need to deal with the shadows right now the shadows of the suns are very sharp which doesn't look good in interior rendering so most people and we also change this to a soft shadows so to change this to a soft shadows all we need to do is the size multiply this is the rule that bigger lights create soft shadows and smaller size lights create sharp shadows so all we need to do is to create the bigger size sunlight I change it to 3 so immediately you can see that the shadows are more softer now <coughs> but the problem relies that it is still too harsh and sharp in my scene so how can we fix that this is the main problem which we need to deal with scene is good lighting is great everything is good but this is not good so how we can deal with this so first of all all we need to do is reduce the sun's intensity multiplier by 0.1 so as soon as I reduce it you can see that the light coming inside the room is also reduced and this is good but now we have less light in our scene so how we can solve this problem right now I'm not going into detailed option of variation because this is not currently the topic but I want to show you a technique where we can have less burning effect in our interior scene but brighter room because if we need right now if we want this to be brighter we need to change this to one and when we change this to one we get this type of effect which doesn't look good so we need this effect like this but more with more light so all we need to do is uh, open material editor and I don't need the sidebar so I'm pressing O key and hiding this and so all we need to do is go to rendering environment I showed you this sky which is being used in background so all we need to do is drag this one into material editor as instance not copy as instance so whatever we change over here it will be automatically updated here 
so I am copying this to as instance okay so this is our Sun our sky sorry this is our sky right now which is good which is currently linked as per the Sun and Sun location so if for example if I change the Sun height it will automatically update the sky right you see here it will automatically update the sky if we drag it down more and update this it will change automatically so this is linked with our Sun position right <coughs> so what we are going to do is we are going to unlink this with our Sun so we need to check double click on VA sky and check the specify sun node and now for the sunlight we are going to select VA sun so select and click on VA sun so now the light is being produced by VA sun it's still linked but not linked uh, in simple language whatever we change here will not affect our sun parameters these parameters will not be affected by changing it here so what we need to do is simply you can see that sun intensity is currently 1 and here you can see that sun intensity multiplier here is 0.1 so this is the trick simple trick all we need to do is if you want to increase your interior brightness just increase sun intensity multiplier over here and you can see that by increasing we are getting more light in our scene and very light sunlight effect so this is I think looks good and we can also change some settings that let me turn off all the lights other lights which we have currently in the scene so I'm turning off everything nothing else everything okay so now you can see that right now we only have effect of our sunlight right so here you can see now I increase the multiplier <coughs> we are having a simple V ray sky lighting effect inside our room but this doesn't solve our problem our room is still dark so let's change this back to one and in V-Ray 5 earlier V-Ray 5 we have to add some portal lights which allow outer environment inside the scene through the windows but now in V-Ray 5 now we have a V-Ray DOM option so what we need to do is currently our objective is simply that we need our V-Ray sky background light which needs to be entered into our scene. So we are adding V-Ray down light from top view. Okay. And then we need to make sure that uh, adaptive DOM option is checked okay and once adaptive DOM option is checked we will go to DOM light settings and look at this this is map okay so we need to plug this sky map into our V-Ray DOM light map as soon as do this let's see the change we have in our scene right so what dome light did right now dome light just help 
V-ray sky texture light enters into the window. So it helps actually. It's bring the light inside our scene. Simple as that. Now, what and how we can increase lighting without increasing sun effect? Just increase this. And you see the drastic change and drastic and realistic effect in our scene that uh, we do not have much shadows much uh, sunlight effect in our scene but we have light in our scene so i think this is too much so let's reduce this to 3.5 and i will say that this is looking really really cool look at this there is no fun so let's see what the uh, final result will look like i'm going to stop ipr or we can say rendering go to render settings and set a small Resolution 116 would be fine for now. Light catch 1000 and let's render. This is really, really cool. I like that. What I need to see is this. Is it burning or not? It's definitely burning. No, not actually. The exposure value was too. We need to reduce this. Highlight one. Contrast. 